let me refresh. In what situation you need to do the alignment of the propulsion system in a boat, in an inboard boat? Basically, in two situations. One situation is because of the captain hit the propeller against the ground and uh, the propeller is bended, the shaft is bended, the strut is bended, and uh, the hull, the fiberglass, is cracked. First step is remove the propulsion system. Yes, we are going to remove the propeller. Immediately you remove the propeller. Immediately you remove the propeller. Immediately you remove the propeller. Probably you, you need to use the tool to remove the propeller that I explained in my introduction book. Uh, inside of the boat, you need to remove the flange and, and the stuffing box. This is inside of the boat. This is the situation inside of the boat. We have the flange, we have the stuffing box, mechanical stuffing box, and uh, we have uh, the coupling and the chaff. Those elements are inside. Outside, Outside, we have the chaff with water behind of the boat. If the boat was damaged because uh, the propeller hit the ground, we need to remove the chaff, the propeller, and all the propulsion system in order to align the system again. This is a typical job. It's very common. And uh, align boats is a, is, a, is a frequent job in a typical marina. When we pass the wire through the center of the strut, we are going to use a metallic compass. This is the transmission, and now we are going to align the transmission and the engine. We are going to verify that the both, 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 couplings, both couplings are completely aligned, and we are going to verify that the surfaces are completely parallel. No like this, no like this, no like this. If you have situation like this, you need you need to raise the engine from the nose. If you have situation like this, you need put the nose, the front of the engine down. If you have the engine like this, you need move the motor mounts laterally until you align the system. I recommend lap lap the surface of the chaff with the propeller in order to verify that I don't have a bubbles that I don't have a space of uh, air in between the propeller and the chaff. Why? Because if I have water, if I have humidity in between the chaff and the propeller, this is a, this is a good element to accelerate the corrosion in between two dissimilar metals, between two dissimilar metals, and accelerate the galvanic corrosion. Okay, uh, in order to avoid that, I recommend use a valve grinding compound. That compound is like a sandpaper in cream. And we are going to apply, apply the valve compound, the, the valve grinding compound over there. And uh, we are going to check, I recommend is install the big one before. We pass the big one before with a piece of wood. We protect the blade. I prefer the thicker knot before because I can apply big torque. I can apply big torque with an extension pipe. and you can apply a lot of torque over there. And after that, after that you can introduce the second nut and you can tie the second one. And now the system is properly installed, the nuts, the cutter pin and the propeller 
properly lap against the chaff in order to avoid corrosion in between two dissimilar metals.